threat from flooding is growing. Eyewitness News New Jersey reporter Cleve Bryant is in Haddon Township, Camden County tonight with more on that angle. Cleve. Yuki, busy day at the Cooper River. You have the crews with the rowing getting ready for the Stotesbury Regatta, and you have the road crews around here getting ready for rain. Clearing drains with shovels and heavy-duty sweepers. Camden County is preparing for wet weather and the dreaded F-word flooding. We have been mobilizing all of our uh, team as well as our equipment. Flash floods can damage your car, but it's the slow seepage that'll get your home. So the soil for four or five feet away from your house is backfill soil. While it's important to keep groundwater away from your home by clearing gutters and extending downspouts, some homes are just flood prone. That means you need to regularly check your sump pump suction and discharge. Two to five inches of rain in this weekend's forecast could overload a faulty drainage system. You, you see it running and you hear it running, but it's not moving the amount of water that it has to move and it can actually burn itself out. And flooding isn't the only concern with your basement. These cracks are actually a sign of the wall bowing in. Rainwater along your foundation can create extreme force against your basement walls. You can actually see how far the, this wall is starting to bow in. Holding up a level will prove that what you're seeing is not an optical illusion and needs immediate help. But if you have a finished basement that hides cracks and bows, here's a tip to check your foundation from the outside. If you see a crack that is eight inches, which is the size of a cinder block, eight inches from the corner vertically, it's because the wall's bowing in. So you see that and you're probably thinking, man, that's got to be expensive to fix those severe basement issues. Well, it's better to finance something like that, pay a little bit monthly, than lose part of your house. Live in Haddon Township, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thank you.